Hi everybody. So um, I th I'm going to experiment and I thought I'd bring you guys with me. And the other voice you'll hear is my mom. I'm video crafting with her because we're quarantined and we haven't seen each other in a while. So this is how we get past that. So I um, am going to be making, attempting. So this is a five inch square fabric and I saw um, a video that Tina did, the Shabby Dabby Doo Da, and she used wax on paper. And I thought, I wonder if you can do that on fabric and turn it into an envelope. But um, all my wax is at my mom's house. And we've been quarantined for quite a while because this COVID is going through both kids. Um, so I am actually repurposing my Scentsy wax instead of throwing it away. I have no idea if it will work, but we're going to try that. Um, my iron is on the highest, so it's on cotton. And let's see, I have no idea. It definitely takes a while for this to... Oh, there it goes. It's slowly kind of working. I'm hoping it really does not crack my glass mat. If it does, then oh well. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm doing this wrong. Oh, there, now it's going. There's no crack in the glass mat. Oh, they need more. Didn't have enough on there. I have dry spots. Okay, where's my... It fell. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more wax out of this container. And cut it up to hit the little pieces that I am missing because there's some dries over here. Definitely does not spread around as easy as bee wax does, but that's okay. One little spot. It's almost done. It worked. Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause while the sucker dries, and then you'll see what I'm going to make with it. But it's working. You maybe I should remelt that side because that looks really gross. I don't like the look of that, and that's what's going to be showing. Okay. <laughs> Lots of smoke. <laughs> I won't burn my house down though. Okay, I am turning that off. Um, we'll pause and and get this dry. I 
Okay, I'm back. Um, I have realized a couple things. One, um, I found an easier way to do the wax. So this is the wax, my Scentsy wax that I already used and instead of throwing away, I'm using it for this. And I'm basically just shaving. Let me see if I can get you guys closer. It's the wrong way. There. So I am just shaving and it's just getting little pieces that I'm cutting oh, into, um, I'm using this. So it just, um, I don't know, I just like this better. It doesn't use as much wax and um, it spreads out a lot easier. So. And I realized I had my um, iron way too high. <laughs> like it was smoking. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, way too high. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of wax on here. Sorry about the noise. Um, I have no idea if those are my children or my husband. Um, and then I'm making little circles. Here, there that goes. I'm going to get a little bit of circle up there. I think I'm just circling this around so I can get some of that up there. There we go. And it looks like the only place I need is a little bit right there. And right there. So we're going to get that melted. So this is on a... I don't know, silk setting, I think. No, it's not really high. The other one I had it way too high. Okay, so, there we go. And, um, when, let's move this over really quick. Ooh, almost knocked my tea over. That's not a good thing. So, I didn't do this straight on my glass mat, but it is on my glass mat. <laughs> um, and it gets on my glass mat. So, you can... Wipe it off really quick with a baby wipe. Um, or what I do, if I can find it, is my little scraper tool. And it's going to get, it won't get everything, but I can just go right back in my little tub. I'll just use it next time. Um, so, but if it's not hot like this was, um, or it's just stuck really good on whatever... You know, you want to be careful on what you, surface you put your iron on. Um, so, you can use, like if you're using your glass mat or something similar, you can use um, hand sanitizer. I know it's like totally hard to get right now, sometimes, some places. <laughs> so, you, but you can use that, put a squirt and scrape it down. Um, that's how I clean my mat. So, the first one I created, um, this one with you guys earlier, this is actually somewhat dry. So, <laughs> I played around and I tried to cut the corners with my um, envelope punch. It didn't do good, so I decided I do not like this route, so... I'm not doing this. So I'm doing it kind of on my own, um, just on my own. So I'm going to show you guys, and this is a great way, like, if you want to make regular envelopes, you can. Um, so I'm just going to pinch this center really quick. That way I know where I want this middle to go. Like, it's going to 
meet up here. Let me zoom you in a little. Oops, not out. Sorry. Um, so see how there's a little pinch there? Little, and... So, and then I'm going to put the other one and butt it right there. And then I'm going to take this, and I tend to like it up a little bit. And yeah, it's going to look a little funky. <laughs> but it does starting to look like an envelope. And then I'll take this part and put it down where... Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, there's little notches. So, what I'll do is, I'm going to take and just take out those corners. Um, and then it will fit better, like, like if it was done on the punch board. I didn't want to ruin my punch board with this fabric because it really wasn't cutting it very well. And I really, um, I don't want to go replace one. And technically, it's not my punch board. It's my daughter's punch board. <laughs> I just use it more than she does. Um, no. And there we go. So this is, um, where's the other one? Okay, so this is the one that I punched out on the punch board. And, oh, this way. And see, they, they match pretty close. There's some light lie over, but they match pretty close. So then I'm just going to use my fabric fix and I'm gonna want I like this I don't like it up like that so I'm going to bend it over a little and that will tell me where to put my glue I'm sure you could probably use whatever glue you'd like so there we go. And so what I'm going to do now is just put a bead of glue along here and there. And that will close part of that. And then a bead of glue up here and here. And then I'm going to put a bead right here. Um, You don't want to get glue right here um, for it to go over because then it will stick. So, there you go. And what I do is leave it open a little so in case the glue spills over, it will do that. So you can use these in your mini albums, any way you would use a regular envelope, really. Um, they're just what, what the, um, my, that's what my mom asked me when we were still video crafting. And um, when I thought about it, the wax just makes it where you can fold these up easier. Um, it gives it a different texture and a different feel, um, but you can fold them up and actually, um, yeah, fold them up. Um, and it will hold its, its shape a little better. Like, you cannot hold the shape like this with a, you know, there's just... It would just be all floppy. So I'm sure you can, let's see, this one's just done. So I'm sure you can totally, like, if you wanted to um, make whatever kind of pocket with this. Say this was bigger, because I don't have a, 
don't know where a bigger piece is. Um, you know, this can get really flimsy, um, even if it's folded over. Um, and so this just stiffens it for you. So I'm going to do this little one. Um, I um, am. I've been wanting to see how little these can go. All right, so we have that and that, and then we're gonna go up. And I think this time I am just going to take my scissors and just chop that little top off. There we go. And then um, I'm not going to use this in a, let me get this, see there's very little to cut, but you can totally cut that if you want. Um, there's just not a lot to cut, but we can, okay, and then frame. Sorry, you guys are still up close so you can see better, and I kind of forget. Okay, so this, I am just going to literally, like, put glue right here. And then on this side, and I don't really need right here, but we're going to put it right there anyways. Hope you guys are staying warm. We have um, lots of snow today, <laughs> which this is my kind of snow day is when we don't have to go anywhere and I don't have to drive in it. Love looking at it. Hate driving in it. So here we go. And I am not going to, um, well, yeah, maybe I am going to cut these. So I'm just going to, no. there we go. That way it just looks a little bit more, more better. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is, I have this other one that I made. It turned out really cute. Um, but I am going to leave this up. And I'm going to um, have this white rickrack that. I'm literally going to put it right like this. Snap. And there we go. Actually, we want it the other way. So I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to um, staple it. I'm going to do both because I'll actually, I think the glue might work. I might sew it later. Ugh, I don't want that part. Okay. This is the way I needed it. So I think I might glue that. Not glue it, but um I think they're getting sticky. Sorry, I need to get a baby wipe. Oh, all out of those. Okay. Um All right, so this just needs to dry for a minute. And then, um, oh, maybe it should have been the other way. 
wonder if I can switch that. Oh, I can. Look at that. Good. So, um, this is going to be a Christmas ornament. I thought it would be really cute to have a um, envelope Christmas ornament. So, we're trying to find my little ephemera. And here, let me zoom you guys out right now. There we go. So, in here, I have a lot of I have some Christmas buttons. Um, I want a snowman. We'll have to see how that will look. <laughs> okay. I didn't get all of my stuff back, so let's see. We want some that might be fun. Looking for some little already cut out ephemera pieces that I can add to this. A lot of these are just too big at the moment. Oh, here's a little one. Here's a little one. Cut that out. I haven't used my Cricut on these yet, so I haven't put any of that stuff in there. So I can't cut them with my Cricut, which is so sad because it's so nice. Like I have grown addicted to that. Oh, here's my other. Oh, it's kind of hidden. Okay, these have a lot more smaller pieces in here. Some of this is two different digi kits, um, both by Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Um, that might. And um, that might be cute. Those might be cute. Um, they're, yeah, but she has the cutest, um, ephemera packs for Christmas. And the ones that I used in my last video were from Taylor Made Journal. And she has some really cute stuff, too. Um. I think right now... We might just work with what we have. Oh, look, I cut out that little. Okay. I know I keep going, oh wait, we'll just work. And I keep looking and finding new treasures. Uh, that tends to be what I do. All right. All right. Oh, I really need to get my chair on squeaky. So I also have pulled out a bunch of um, stickers and stuff. So some of these might be really cute to have on here along with oh, let me reach these. I got all these at um, Tuesday morning. Well, these packs were at Tuesday morning. A lot of my other stickers I got a Hobby Lobby when they were on sale because that's how I like to buy my stuff. So I'm going to open this one up because I think some of these might be really cute. 
not necessarily the stickers, but these are, these might be fun. So let's play and see with what we got. Should turn down my, got, got any, should turn down my. All right, so I think we are going to start and build with Christmas tree in here. You can't really see the bottoms of it, which is fine. Um, so, if you don't know how to, let me pull you in closer so you guys can see this. Now I keep moving you guys out, in and out, in and out, sorry. <laughs> so, um, if you have these on the back, they're really easy to cut off. Like, I just use a regular pair of scissors. You know, these are kind of caked with the... Okay, now they're taking me longer than the these are doll. Um, normally, I have no problem taking these off with regular scissors, but. too big. Mm. I could cut that down. There we go. If I make that on there, look at that, there's still junk on there. Okay, and I think that might go look good on one of the bigger ones. So, I'm thinking I'm going to Get up there. Sorry, my hands are in your way. There we go. This is a very big, <laughs> but um, it might look cute right there. I know I want more stuff in here. I want it piled, but I don't want to duplicate. Um, I think I might pull that Christmas tree up some. There's no reason why it has to be that low. Put the bird up there. Hmm. I want a button on there. You know, I made buttons a while back. And I think some bling. I don't like that. That is just too big. There we go. That would be fun to have up on top of that. And okay. This is going to be really long. So I think I think I'm going to 
pause this really quick and get my inks out. Ink some of this up and work a little bit of this off camera and then I will bring you guys back. Hello. Okay, so I got this far on it and it's not like you can see the tree, but it's... Uh, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. There we go. I put that on the back of it. And I found, I dumped into my Christmas craft stash and a while back I did a Grinch Christmas party. And I am using some of the lace. This was ribbon that we used. Um, and the, we were using these too. So we are going to just attach this right here. I don't want to overdo it on the buttons. Oh, I have a little bit of bling. You cannot see that. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. I have no idea how long this... Oh, there's little banners in this. I wonder how big they are, though. Oh, those look too big. Um, so, let me zoom you out. There we go. So, I think... I don't know if these are... Okay, these are all brads. Well, I was hoping not to use brads, but I was thinking that silver would be really cute. Let's work on sticking that in there. Oh, I just need my pokey tool. I think we're going to put it right there. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get this through this fabric. Yep. Puncturing. There we go. I got a little hole. Let's hope it fits. These are just too big. I cannot get those to fit in. That is just too big. Um, and now I have a hole in there. I got this. Let's pull. Yeah, let's use this. Okay, I'm going to open up this one. This is just a sticker that I got at Sticker Pack from Hobby Lobby. We are going to pull this little, this out. And yeah, that will look really cute. Okay, so I'm just going to apply not this type of glue. It's going on to fabric, so we're going to apply this on here. Here we go. Okay, this is and now I'm going to add these cute little um, hopefully they'll stay in. I don't know. These were they are made to go into um, tree like making a garland or a flower arrangement so they're not really meant for this kind of stuff but this is the way I'm using it and I should be using this with hot glue because this is just what hot glue needs but we're going to try it with this okay
gonna stick this one right in there. Alright, let's hope that fits. So here we go. A little easier to see. Um, so here's a ornament that we do that we did, and then now that my desk is completely trashed, <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to turn these into ornaments or use them in a book yet. I'm not sure, but um, well, I will post pictures on my Instagram. So if you um, the link will be below for all my Instagram, Facebook, um, my email, all that stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you got some inspiration from it. And I will see you all on the next craft adventure. Bye.